Microsoft Teams provides excellent environment to work together on the same Word document. In this video, I will show you how to exchange feedback about the document using version control and comments feature of Microsoft Word Online. I will also share with you how you can exchange feedback using channel messages inside Microsoft Teams. I'll also share with you why it is so important to agree on how you're going to collaborate on Microsoft Word document before you start working together. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Vadim Mikhalenka and I have MBA and master's degree in computer science. Most of my career I worked as a consultant helping companies implement solutions. I learned a lot of technologies throughout my career, but more importantly, I developed a methodology how to learn new skills, which I would like to share with you as part of my videos. I also work as an educator in a community college, helping people to learn technology and find jobs. I started online training for everyone to share the knowledge and help people to reach their goals faster. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. We are working on the project together and using Microsoft Teams. Patricia is a team lead on the project and Vadim is the team member. Both Patricia and Vadim report to John. We've identified two main work streams for the project. First one is to create the video and second one is to market the video. Our strategy is to find a new vendor to create a video and use an existing vendor to market the video. To be compliant with laws and regulations, we are required to create request for proposal, reach out to the vendors, evaluate request for proposal, and then select the vendor. It is very formal process. And in the end, we would need to be able to explain the results to whoever might be asking questions. Because both team members work remote, we decided to use collaborating features of Microsoft Teams to develop request for proposal together. To do that, Patricia navigated to create video channel, clicked on files, and clicked on start new document. Because request for proposal is the Word document, she chose Word document. And she named it request for proposal DOCX. Microsoft Teams provides phenomenal file collaboration capabilities. It has built-in versions of Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft PowerPoint online right inside Microsoft Teams. And it has various different ways allowing you to collaborate. You can use comments, you can use conversations, and you can also use version control. On top of that, it auto-saves the information so you don't have to be worried about losing anything when you're using Microsoft Teams. In fact, when Patricia was developing this slide, she realized that she missed version control. But then she realized that this is an existing, powerful feature of Microsoft Office, which is also available in Microsoft Teams. Patricia had decided to start with the company's template for request for proposal. In addition to setting up template, Patricia started populating it and she included some of the information that was obvious for this particular request for proposal. She just typed it in and Microsoft Teams saved this Word online document without asking the user. She also decided to turn on tracking. To do that, she navigated to Review tab in Microsoft Word, selected Track Changes, and selected For Everyone. After doing all of this, she decided to share the initial draft version with Vadim. The best way to share would be to select the document click copy link and then navigate to the general section where you have main conversation and target somebody by starting the new conversation. Once she's done typing the message, she can just use control V to paste the link. Because Patricia targeted Vadim in her conversation request, when Vadim logged in into his system, he saw that there are two messages in the general channel. Vadim didn't know where the file was all he needed to do is just click on the link. Let me give you a couple reasons why you might consider subscribing to online training for everyone. State-of-the-art skills, tips, tricks, and techniques we share with you here on online training for everyone will help you today and in the future. We use scientifically proven methodology to create videos that will help you learn faster and retain more materials. When you click the subscribe button now, you will become connected and will be the first one to receive automatic notifications when new video is released. There are two main ways how you can collaborate on the document in Microsoft Teams. If you're putting your feedback inside the document, you have an option of using version control or using comments. If you are collaborating on the outside of the document, you can put your feedback on the channel messages inside Microsoft Teams. 
it is always a good option to discuss with your team members what is the preferred option and which option they would like to use, especially if you have large number of people on the team. This would allow you to organize the feedback, centralize it, and review it effectively. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this, and we'll make sure that you get it in the future. Vadim read the document, and he decided that he can add more content based on what he knew about the project. Before adding the content, though, he decided to format the document a little bit by including the bullets into some of the sections. After looking at the bullets, though, he decided to change them into just regular numbers. Because what if vendor will decide to reference particular requirement? It would be so much easier to do if each requirement will have its unique number. And he was really glad that this was Microsoft Word where they were doing the editing with Patricia. Because Microsoft Word provides all of these capabilities. He even added the numbering in the sections where there was only one item, as his thought process was that maybe, as they worked together with Patricia, there would be more than just one item there. In addition to what Patricia had, Vadim also added a couple items in the evaluation metrics and submission requirements. For evaluation metrics, Vadim added that video should describe key benefits of the product. And the second one he added, video should focus on the product and show as much of the product in the scenes as possible. He thought that this was something important for vendor to realize, as some of the commercials and videos created by the vendor focus on the actors instead of focusing on the product itself. He also added that the video should be in the 4K format. We can always downsize the format, but we cannot upsize it without losing the quality. Vadim was so happy that Patricia turned on track changes in the document, because he can see what she wrote, and he can clearly see the changes that he made. He was very impressed that you can hover on top of the text that was written and you will see the date and timestamp and who made the change. He also recalled that the legal team was always requiring marketing team to include some specific statements for every video that company makes. But instead of writing it inside the document, he decided to use comments features, comments feature of Microsoft Word Online to communicate this to Patricia. To do that, he clicked on the comments button. He wrote, do we need to include legal requirements as we did in our previous videos? Should we specify the text for the vendor so they include it as text inside the video or as a voice at the end of the video? And then he posted the comment. He was very happy with the results and he decided to communicate back to Patricia that he's done with his review. To do that, he navigated back and he decided to write back to Patricia in the general channel. He wrote, I had a chance to look. Great start but I think we may need to engage our legal team. Let me know your thoughts. And then he sent the message. When Patricia received this note, she decided to look at the changes Vadim made. She clicked on the link that she herself posted, and she can clearly see all the changes that he made, because the track changes control was on. She also saw the comment that Vadim added, and she thought that this comment made sense, so she wrote back to Vadim. She wrote, great catch. Let's have a meeting with them soon to review the document and she posted this comment right in the word online. As a next step, Patricia decided to review the changes Vadim had made. She decided to review changes one by one and accept or reject them as needed. The first change she was very happy with. So she right click on the change and selected accept insertion. This made this change permanent. She was also very happy with all the numbers that Vadim added. So she decided to accept those changes as well. And finally, she was also very happy with his catch about 4K format. This is the new format, and creating video in the new format will help it last for longer in the social media as well as in other marketing channel where it could be used. So she decided to accept this change as well. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, Please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.